you know, you make your own luck, and, and, and Ian says that as well. Um, and Arsenal made their own luck. Chelsea didn't look right today. They didn't look right, not at the back, not in midfield, and also definitely not up front. Abraham didn't hold the ball up, uh, didn't bring people in, into play, uh, and they looked very, very slow. Take nothing away from Arsenal, they deserved it, and they deserved the, the three points. Yeah, as far as Chelsea are concerned, that is three successive away defeats for the first time in the Premier League for almost two years. So the honours are Arsenal's in our fourth game of this Boxing Day that began with that 2-2 draw between Leicester and Manchester United. Three points and three goals for 10 men Aston Villa at Villa Park. A point apiece between Fulham and Southampton. Stay with us. We have a goal rush featuring Manchester City, Newcastle on all the action from Sheffield United against Everton. And four more games, including the champions at home to West Brom to come, of course, on Sunday. So Chelsea could have gone second. In actual fact, they slip a place to six. They've missed that opportunity on 25 points. Everton play next at Sheffield United. If they win, Carlo Ancelotti's side go into second place. Arsenal move up one place. Significantly, they move on to 17 points, which is now six clear of the bottom three. Um, together three points back. Uh, we missed this one uh, last few weeks. But uh, yeah, we knew it would be a very, very difficult game. But I think we worked very good together today, like a team. And yeah, at the moment, we can all, um, only take the points like this. Why were things so much better today? Yeah, because uh, we did the plan what uh, the coach gave us, uh, to press and to be focused 95 minutes. And yeah, we scored, of course, uh, in the right time. And um, yeah, the 3-0, I think, helps a lot. Talking of scoring at the right time, your goal came at a good time. And, and especially after coming back from a red card as well, from a personal point of view, how, how did it feel? Yeah, it was a lot of uh, speaking after the red card. A lot of people start to speak again and again and again, but um, yeah, I think uh, I will always show my character. Um, I was very, very disappointed about the red card and um, I knew what I did was wrong from my side, but I'm more than happy I helped the team today and I'm back. And I'm not sure the, the club's had much luck so far this season, so did you deserve Bukayo's goal? I think he deserved how um, everything going for him in one year, how so he improved a lot of things and how important it is for our team. And at the moment, we need a little bit of luck as well. And we had it today and uh, we are lucky. A couple of tough away games coming up now in short succession. But do you see this as a chance to get away from the bottom of the table? Of course. Um, it was very important uh, three uh, points today. But we have to continue like, like this. Now, um, how you say, the next two games away, uh, very difficult. But um, if we work together like this, if you are like, like a team like this, I think... Um, we have a chance to take uh, the six points in the next two games. Some strong words from Granite Xhaka there, right? Yeah, he's kind of talking about he's sending off, which was totally his fault. And at the time, he, he did let the team down. You know, it was a, if we're going to go into that, and, you know, it, it was a period in the game where Arsenal were slowly getting something out of that Burnley game. So I can't understand why he's mentioning that. He should just let that go because what he's done today. Again, you know, it's, um, it's, it's helped the team and that's what it should be doing. The, the way they played today and everything, what they've done, it, it, it helped the team because we had an injection from Martinelli, you know, from, uh, from Saka, you know, from Emil Smith-Rowe. You know, the, the, the closing down was a lot better. They worked a lot harder. People will say that Chelsea didn't play well. I'm not really interested in how Chelsea play because I'm always worried about what Arsenal do to impose themselves on the team. And then you negate Chelsea. And so that's what they did today, and they've got to take credit for that. And in that third goal, we'll get to whether it was intended or not, but the build-up, did that back up what you're saying there? Well, yeah, because what the build-up showed is that, again, it came from Rob Holden, who had a magnificent game today, alongside Hector Bellerin, and, you know, Tierney and all the guys. But this pass here is something that they weren't doing. He probably would have turned back round, give it to the goalie, then they try to come out the other side. But then, you look, once you do a pass like that, it opens everything up. Chelsea on the back foot, you've got people going forward, and yes, you look at this situation and you want the forwards to actually be going the other way, but he's got the luck. And what we'll see in this instance is, is the pass from, from Rob Holding now. Bam, it's gone into a place where he's taken out five or six of the Chelsea players. And then now 
This one, you've got Chelsea running back, you've got Arsenal players getting forward, which they weren't doing enough um, in the past, uh, past few weeks. And then this situation here is where you want to see the forwards. You see Gabriel, Gabri um, Martinelli and Black Set. They want to be going that way because that's what he's crossing that ball for. In the end, they get the luck, which I think they deserve, and it goes in. But like, I think the way Arsenal played today, because I was one of the people alongside a load of Arsenal fans who, who was really worried about what would have happened today off of the back of the performances we've seen up to this point. But what they've shown there, Steve, Jimmy, is that they have got the capability <laughs> and it's going to come down to hard work. He didn't mean that, did he? Saka? No, 100% not. I, I like the player. He's very positive and, and he has uh, come on this year. Um, but he didn't mean that it, it, on his weaker foot. But <laughs> look... Sometimes things go for you in the game and everything went for Arsenal today. If you, if you analyse it really well, they didn't create a lot of chances. They created maybe one chance. They got a lucky penalty. They, they, the, the second goal was deserved. The third goal is, 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 a, is a fluke. But overall, the game itself, Arsenal was the better one. <laughs> uh, and, and he's laughing, but Arsenal was the better team. And, and yeah, I, I'm a lover of football. I hope Arsenal looks at the young players today that have played and why they were so energetic. And, and Luis and, and, and uh, William not being there, but still the performance that the team put together was, I think, two, three hundred percent better than in the past few weeks. OK, Jimmy doesn't think Bakayo Saka meant it. Let's hear from the man himself. Pakaya, congratulations. That's a, a, a really great result for, for Arsenal and one that you needed. Yeah, we really needed this one, you know. Every game, there's going to be a lot of games coming up and we want to win them all, so it was good to start like this and get the win. Strong home performance, so we're really happy with this performance. What about your goal? Stroke of genius or stroke of luck? Well, I saw him off his line, so I just thought I'd tip him a bit, you know. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah? Well, it's a brilliant goal. <laughs> Thank you. Um, it, obviously, you're playing against a very, very good side today, and um, the psychological boost that you will get from that is is huge, I would think. Yeah, hundred percent. You know, we feel that we're a good team. You know, we've been quite unlucky with the results and the luck and the red cards, but you know, this is a big one for our confidence, and hopefully, we can go forward with this momentum. He said that with a straight face. Yeah, he meant it. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, I believe him. <laughs> 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 Jimmy don't believe it because, because we didn't have no forwards going in there I believe it can, can we look at his body position please when okay. he's doing